A mighty force of anti-aircraft guns took up positions along the coast of southeast England. Plans had been prepared long beforehand. Under the GOC and C anti-aircraft command, General Sir Frederick Pyle, the defence was constantly improved. And of 8,000 flying bombs launched against us, no more than 2,300 got through the defence of guns, fighter planes and barrage balloons. A fine achievement. And in this exclusive feature, Show on British News shows the Battle of London in progress. Our story is told mainly from the point of view of the anti-aircraft guns, who collected a great percentage of the kills. These men and women, already tried and tested by their wonderful work against the Luftwaffe, these men and women. Now, Sir Frederick Pyle, What's up guys, we are in Romford. I'm joined today with my sister on this Urban Explorer today. We're checking out a World War II HAA battery, which is rather nice. We had to kind of trek through some muddy fields, as you saw. One dangerous side to walking through muddy fields is that it can act like quicksand. So please be careful if you ever come to this place and you know where this place is and it's muddy and it's rained the night before, wear some wellies and be extra careful. So we are at a HAA battery, which is cool. Not much to see, apart from a coupled uh, decaying doors. Uh, the brickwork, really nice, still a bit sturdy. It's a shame that it's been left like this, but at a point, uh, it's not gonna be used anymore. It was, it's done its service. So ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. I would have got some drone shots of this place because it's amazing. There's not much to see, but with the drone shots, it would have looked really nice. But unfortunately, I don't have one. So we're just going to do some walk rounds for you. And uh, I'll show you guys what's left. I'll try and do my best with this video because we've literally got an hour and a half. Hour... We've got an hour and a half left of the daylight, which is not good. So time is of the essence. Ye Yeehaw. Yes. To be honest guys, there is really not a lot to see, apart from some bricks and some decaying metal doors as I've previously mentioned. A bit overgrown, as you can see. Amazing sunset. But yeah, uh, doors still move, kind of. Some of these would have, obviously the gun would have been in the middle. The uh, HAA gun. Not exactly sure if that's what it's called. I need to do a bit more research before I start splouting about. This is when the HAA gun would have been. There would have been a gun here, actually, because there is metal bolts that would have gone here. I think the gun would have gone right there. They're probably under all that lot under there, or they've just rusted away over the years. It's a real shame that this side, well, it is all completely overgrown, which is a shame. I got inspired to do this video by a couple of YouTubers called Exploring with M and Stu, so, or Stu, Stu or Stu? Uh, Stu, could you correct me <laughs> on how to pronounce your name, please? I have been to one of these previously uh, in Graves End. I did a video there at the beginning of the year. This looks to me like there's two massive HAA batteries stuck together. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to be an explore without Charlotte. Oh my god.
I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is that like a little bunker or something? Can't actually get in there. What's wrong there? Just an empty room. Still got the original doors. Oh, bloody hell, they move. They still move! Oh my god, they still uh, really treacherous around here. Don't know where to put my feet. But we've got an hour, well, half an hour left in here because I don't want to be walking across the fields at night. I should have brought my torch, actually. It's a good idea, isn't it? What? I said, huh? I said I should have brought my torch. Hello? Oh, it is a bit scary in here, isn't it? Hello? Um. We're going old school, ladies and gentlemen. We're using my phone. <laughs> <gasps> oh, is that another hallway? Oh, it goes further in. Uh, cause I didn't think. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this was actually. Okay, it's just an empty room. That's disappointing. This must have been a generator room because it looks like a generator. Slab and a generator must have gone on there. Oh, what was that? Oh, <laughs> I heard a tap in the building next to me. Huh? Probably. It's scaring me. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Oh. It smells like weed in here. Oh yeah, that is weed, isn't it? I looks like it's stuck on my shoe. Heading to looks to be that was in the English. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. Stingers everywhere. Oh crap! The original doors are still on this one, Charlotte. Original blast doors are still on this one. Jesus. It's bonkers. I have no idea what these were, but these look very similar to the one that we done at the other HA battery. HAA battery. Would have been a window here. Charlotte, I'll meet you around the other side. There must have been a wind. I'm so sorry. There's a tree in the way. I can't stop Mother Nature. So there would have been probably a window here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the window like a pro. But, ladies and what on earth is that? Someone stick a hello sticker up there. Uh, oh, oh, there's like a hello sticker right there. I don't know what that is. But this, this looks nuts. Look at that. Isn't that a hallway and a half?
splendid. Not much to see in there, but if you ever come into this one, there should be a should be a surprise for someone if they want to find a little Easter egg. But you have to find the building that it's hidden in. Um, hopefully, I've got enough footage. I'll, uh, I'll find out when I get home. Sunrise is looking rather smashing, wouldn't you say so? I would say so. It's actually the sunset. Did I did I say sunrise? Yeah. I meant to say sunset. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> I wanna just a shout out to a guy called Shayit, uh, calling me a muppet. I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much for tuning into my uh, to my content. Much appreciated. Cheers. Here I go. I'll probably leave this in. If you don't know how to do walking shots, this is what you have to do every single <laughs> blasted time. Didn't realise I was zoomed a bit in. Oh my. There you go. It's going to be a treacherous journey and a half. Pro okay, it's easier than I thought. Did you whistle? Nope. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Just like that. Bit of metal on the on the floor corroding away. Like nothing ever happened, which is pretty sad. Alright, it's just a big room. Yeah, it's just a just a big room. Uh to be honest. I don't know much about this place, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's, I'm not going to lie, it's just a load of bricks, but it's got history. It's got history, ladies and gentlemen. Because I've had a couple of people go, why do you want to go there? It's only bricks and metal doors. It's got history. I've had a couple of people come up to me over the, the last previous months going, why do you like doing World War II stuff? The only places that are World War II They've either just been gutted out, spray painted, graffitied, rubble, metal doors, and I'm like, it may just be a pile of bricks and graffiti walls, but ladies and gentlemen, it's got history. It protected our country from German invasion and from the Luftwaffe. But ladies and gentlemen, Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. I've been joined by my sister Charlotte on today's Explore. Hopefully, this video has made some sense, then I'll, 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 try and, I'll try and figure something out with this video. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. We've got a long journey back through the muddiest fields I've ever walked through on a Super Pop Bro video. But if you've come here yourself and you know a bit more than I do, put it in the description, just in the comment. Oh, I can't believe it. If you know a bit more about this place than I do, well, I'm going to do a bit of Googling, but if you know a bit more and you, you know, you know someone that served at this site, put it in the comment section down below. We'd love to read your comments. And we are almost at 2.6K subscribers, which is really cool. We can just push it, guys. If we can get to 2.6K before the end of December, I know we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys. How many times do I need to say ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. It's just cool. I'll see you on my next video. And as always, ta-ta. I don't know why I made that facial expression, but let's do this. <laughs>right so there's a site there's the muddy field as you can see lovely sunset <laughs> but we're just going to try and find another way across the muddy field because if you walk on that you're gonna you're gonna definitely have a little bit of a sinky poo in that but the site is just in there really cool something uh Something very unique. I haven't seen a site that big in, well, forever. 
Look at that. Oh my God.